things. The women about to take over. There's a gang of women CEOs that have already moved into positions, ready to act. When the vibrations start changing, that's going to trigger them. I don't care if you fight like a fucking girl. Fight like a Marine. Right, Portia? If you fight like a girl, some badass chicks out there fucking Wakanda on these motherfuckers. You dig? Warrior motherfucking Princess Xena on these motherfuckers. Show them what the real Wonder Woman is when y'all do y'all magic. You know? So, um... I, oh, I got to make mention of this again because a lot of um, women who've been desecrated as a holy place, that means that they took off either your mammary glands or your uterus because that's what they call desecration of the holy place. When y'all thinking they talking about the synagogues that get bombed or burned down, no, that's not the desecration of the holy places. The desecration of the, of the holy places is when you snatch a woman uterus out. Or when you put a woman uterus in a man. That's desecration of the holy places. When you cut her mammary glands off, instead of telling her how to properly take care of her breasts and allowing her sisters to give her the proper treatment so she won't never even get no fucking lump on the goddamn breast in the first place. But you don't want her to know proper breast care, so you try to stifle the doulas and make it look like they retarded backwoods, don't know what the fuck they talking about, but we own to your bullshit. We all own to this shit. You know? So, I didn't gave them back their shit. And all you imposters, I can't even tell y'all to duck. Ain't nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You motherfuckers can't even get low no more. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you, motherfuckers. All this dirt y'all son of a bitches drop. I'm giving it back. You, yep. My elder said, they stole it. You must return it. Well, I'm the only motherfucker took that shit personal. In Destruction of the Black Civilization, when Chancellor Williams say, well, here it is. We laid it all out for you. Who the fuck was he talking to? I ain't seen nobody else taking it personal, so he must have been fucking talking to me. When Jawaza Kunjufu said we needed to state of the emergency declared, and I looked around and I didn't see nobody taking that shit personal but me, so he had to be talking to me. He couldn't be talking to nobody else because didn't nobody else take that shit personal. Every fucking complaint being legit. When Tupac talked about the little kids being turned into toy soldiers out in the street killing each other. I didn't see nobody take that shit personal but me. When I'm in Chicago and I'm looking at Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford sitting in the penitentiary and motherfuckers talking about motherfuckers railroaded and wrongly convicted it and these motherfuckers been wrongly convicted and railroaded because they not what the fuck they told you they was. These motherfucking chiefs. This they shit. 40 fucking years these motherfucking conscious niggas ain't said shit. And I'm supposed to be cool with that though. I ain't supposed to say nothing either. Bullshit, I'm saying something. Motherfucker, I ain't shutting up. If my sisters ain't straightened out and this shit ain't cleaned up, I'm not shutting up. And then we can take it where you want it from here. But mama already let her, her lady soldiers go on you bitch ass motherfuckers. So all I can tell you is rise to the occasion because you about to be burnt for fucking with mine. I didn't gave them they shit back. I didn't locked and loaded your own goddamn death certificate like you've been doing us for all this goddamn time, you rotten ass bastards. They know who they is. They know where they came from. And if they ain't got out of here by now, the son of a bitches won't leave. They gonna be disintegrated into something that I don't know what the fuck they gonna be, but they won't be here. They won't fucking be here. It's a new conspiracy now. The conspiracy to reignite the hive of the God Mother Earth. That's the new conspiracy. Tell them motherfuckers bust that bitch up with they bad ass. Phone tap that woman network with your bad ass. Let me see you phone tap that with your motherfucking sorry ass, testicle carrying ass, punk made bitch. Let me see you stop her now. It's not gonna happen. I gave them they shit back. 
How you like me now, you dirty bitch. Fucking with my sisters. How you fucking like me now, you rotten ass imposters. Now, you stole it. I went and got it, and I fucking gave it back. That's the way it is. Now, on a much lighter note, all my powerful sisters, I'm glad to see y'all in action and making moves. And when I realized who Seeker was, I fucking started crying like I was a two-year-old kid that missed his mama. For real. I don't fucking cry like that. That shit fucked me up. These sisters is on the mission. Don't get in their fucking way. Because then y'all going to have to answer to these fucking gorillas. I'm everywhere one of these is. Don't fuck with these sisters. Or you're going to have to answer to these gorillas. And it won't be pretty. Get out their way. Give them their shit back. I gave them the science. Gave them the art. Now they can do their black girl magic. And I don't care what their skin look like. If they ain't no imposter, they got black girl magic going on and they finna elevate about this bitch. They finna show y'all what this shit look like when they gave niggas, these nut carrying motherfuckers, wanna stick their chest out talking about they the fucking man of the house. They done been giving these sorry motherfuckers how many hundreds of years to fix this shit? It ain't fixed. It ain't fit. I don't want to work with them. I work with the ones who support the sisters. The rest of the motherfuckers, they can eat shit and die. A real slow, painful death. All the pain they didn't put my sisters through, all the pain they didn't put Mother Earth through, multiply it by about a billion, drag it out a hundred million years longer, and feed it to their ass through their ass. That's what they need. That's right, Mama Woo Woo. Cleaning motherfucking house. House cleaning. Don't nobody clean house like Mama. Nobody clean house like Mama. I hope y'all prepared for this shit. Y'all about to see some shocking and amazing fucking shit take place. I can't tell you what it is because I can only go up to the next sign. So this one was flipped off the 440 turnaround. Off the zigzag zig. It went through Sika, Portia, me, Beverly, back to me. So, mama got something heavy. Sisters, feel your power. Feel your power. Tell mama to let you feel your power. All you got to do is say, mama, let me feel my power. When you start feeling it and the sisters around you going to start feeling it too. Be contagious with that shit. Powerful. Wake your mitochondria up. That's the source of all love on this planet. And that evil wicked shit can't stand when the mitochondrial waves start connecting. They got the wrong energy signature. They can't fucking stay here. I can give you references out the ass of what I'm talking about. But to simplify this shit. Sisters, feel your power, connect, touch each other. I got to tell y'all what to do about the women with no wounds. I almost forgot. <clears throat> so if they had gave her a hysterectomy and she don't know what to do, when the woman start resonating that tone, it looks for what's balanced as the standard. It won't take imbalance as a standard. Because the imbalance got to be corrected. So the older women who had hysterectomies, they wanted to cut you off from your power. I'm finna tell you how to get it. Center of your palm, there is a um, chakra on both hands. Palm to palm with a prepubescent girl. The girl that never had a, her... her cycle yet what's gonna happen is a tone 
is going to go through her first because it's going to recognize her as being the most balanced and correct of the two. And then it's going to be able to read where the anomaly is at the uterus. And then it's going to be able to give you an energetic replacement. It's going to give you an energy um, ball to take place of the uterus where you can still use the portal power without having the physical organ. But it needs the young girl as a calibrating tool. So they have to be palm to palm while the A-tone is resonating. And this will help her jump the void that they call, it's called a void, where the uterus has been removed. And that's going to realign all of her chakras where she can join in and give power to the rest of the sisters. That's some powerful shit. I didn't basically turn y'all into human atomic bombs. I'm just waiting for the shockwave because I'm going to love this shit. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. So, um, I'm open to questions. I have to answer truthfully. Any woman asks me a question, I need y'all to know that. I have to answer truthfully because they let me into the network, into the hive. If these motherfuckers don't bump straight, they're going to be fucked. Because they're not going to be able to process enough energy to keep up with a fully awoke woman. The woman has to allow you to wake up. That's what you don't get. That's a privilege on earth for a man to be woke. It's a privilege. It's not a right. The woman, absolute right. The man is a privilege. Now, if you don't know the difference, go read your law dictionaries and you understand the difference between a right and a privilege. See, this day shit, Earth is mitochondrial based. Mitochondrial run this motherfucker. I said it before, I said it till I'm blue in the face. Anybody don't believe me, take it out your system and see what the fuck happened to you. No? No. Oh. Um, with that, I'm going to close this one out. Let me look at the clock. 9.20. That's 11. Initiate. So we're initiating from here. The linking up of the sisters on the, off this zigzag zig coming out the 440 turnaround. Portia, uh, Sika, y'all next. I don't know what y'all mama got planned for y'all, but y'all up. I wanted to tap in because um, these star seeds are coming through. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we out here birthing this next generation and bringing them through. And these babies are, whoo, these babies are something else. You know, like, they're, they're coming in with messages. They just, you know, like, I'm just trying to grow so that I could understand. Because they're, you know, we birthing ancestors and bring them back through. So, yeah. um, the other, like, two weeks ago, I was um, holding a ceremony up in the, up in the forest. And as soon as I pulled up, man, the mothership was right above. I looked up in the sky, and the mothership was hovering right above the building. And I was like, so I called over my husband, and I'm like, babe, am I tripping or is this real? And we all, like, we seen it. The person hosting the ceremony came over. We just rejoiced because it felt like our star family was pulling up on us. And they wanted us to see them. I was the closest. You know, sometimes you see a UFO, and you, like, it just flies by fast. And you're like, oh, shit, was that what I thought I saw? This was not that at all. This was a slow <laughs> roll. Like, this was like, yo, we pulling up on you. What's up? You see us? And then they just mm -hmm. cloak, they just cloak themselves, like, into the clouds. But um, I've been tapping in with your, with your messaging, like, since you was speaking to Sister Isis, since you was speaking with the Hood Healer, you know, and I just resonate with a lot of what you've been talking about, just the queens and, and our place and the matriarch. Um, I come from a very powerful matriarch in the Arawak nation um, throughout the Caribbean. So mm -hmm. just being on this land, um, being in California right now, is just I'm just feeling the, the rising of the divine feminine. I'm feeling the healing of the divine masculine. And these new divine masculines that are being born, they just, they're coming in healed. You know, they're coming in with... with they the come ready for war. 
Yeah, yeah. But they also come in to bring peace. You know, like they're the most peaceful mm -hmm. divine masculines I've ever encountered because they got that balance of the feminine and the masculine already figured yeah, so, out. Yeah, so when they come in, in order, because they come in ready for war. Right. But their goal is to establish the peace. Mm. Mm. The, the war, they, they, don't, they shouldn't have to fight a physical war if we do our job. Right. And that's the messaging that I'm getting is like, when I was in ceremony, it was telling me that I needed to cleanse all my ancestral pain and the ancestral pain of everybody pretty much on the planet right now so that we don't hand it down to the next generation so that they don't have to, right. they don't have to wrestle with that. So that's what happened. And it's like, I just feel like their souls are, they're, they're old souls, but their souls are fresh. Like they don't have all that trauma attached to their DNA the way that like I felt the millennial generation does. Right. So the ones that like, for instance, when I came in, I came in with the very rarely heard of onyx seeds. The onyx seeds preceded the indigos. Mm. We supposed to, we supposed to clear the way for them. Wow. And set their protection up. Mm. Got that. So then we started becoming, we we started becoming adults. We started producing the the indigos. Yes. And that's my you know, generation. Yeah. That's who I. That's who we are. And then this yeah. new generation, I, I guess they're calling them the Crystal Children. Straight star seed. Yep. Star, star seed. Crystal yeah. Children. But yeah, I just wanted to tap in with you and just, I just feel like um, all the tribes are tapping in, you know, like all the different bloodlines are rising up again. You know, people, I've been very quiet about who I am and what I am because I've been I've been at war for lifetimes, you know, and I and I do. Oh, yeah. we, I, know, I already know the rules. Certain we ones of us can't. Yeah, certain one of us can't say who we is until it's time for us to come out the dark. Exactly, and I can't I can't speak on who the star star seeds are, you know, because it's like the the attacks that we've that we've had to undergo to even make it this far, to even mm -hmm. bring these bring the star seeds through. It's mm -hmm. been wild. It's been wild, like defeating fucking warlocks and shit like that have been that's because we've been that's because we've been we've been warlocked we've been locked in war fighting so has, the land. So, has yeah. the land so like I've, I've been feeling like I, I i travel a lot i'm nomadic so it's like i feel like certain light grids call me to them and i gotta go there and i stand on that land and, and it's to clear some like the lock that's on the land you know and like recently in california it's been it's been wild. Like, it's been wild. The entities that have held on to the land over here and that we've had to go to war with. And it's like, I feel like once you beat them at their own game, that's when they're like, wait, who the fuck are you? And how the fuck did you just beat me? I'm 8,000 years old. And it's like, mm -hmm. and then you just got to dip out because they, they, they try to follow the line and to see where you get your source from, where you get your energy from. And it's like, like you said, there's a there's a lot of us out here right now, and I feel like I I feel like I'm coming out of a vow of silence um, where I, that I've been in for years, where I just been kind of on my on my Kali Ma warrior goddess energy, just you know handling these 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 entities before the star seed had to come through, and then it's like now that he's here, it's it's I feel I feel protected, you know, like I feel like the like. The kings have risen, the queens have risen, the goddesses and gods have risen. So it's like they can't really hurt us anymore. You know, like all the, right. all the, it's like, I feel like the war, I feel like the light beings won the war. I think we're just seeing it happen in the physical, like kind of like rewinding the tape. Right. So it is, a, it is a, uh, cause it's what you call the turnaround time. The turnaround time is from the time that is applied, how long does it take? for it to be seen in the physical world. Right. Right. So all of the work done, now we're, we move in the, we move in the timeline to the convergence of the singularity. Mm. And free Larry Hoover and Gematria is 191, and that's an anagram for 911, which means when they free Larry Hoover, we bring their system down. Right. Right. And we bring their system down by screaming free Larry Hoover as the battle cry. Yes, and I and I heard you say that Free Larry Hoover is also like for all political prisoners, you know, and a, a all political prisoners. Like yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm one of the protectors, spirit protectors for Asada Shakur. 
Um, so it's like I, I'm also an artist. I'm a musician and a painter. So it's like there's I, I've been um, in ceremony with Asada just in terms of like I, I, I painted this image of her and then I just I just got called to like adorn her and all these indigenous uh, regalia and like crown her and like the image so in the I culture just... in the culture what you do, what in the culture what you're doing is you're doing her footwork on the land while she's indisposed mm -hmm. so Woo! to tap tap into her is black girl magic is your voodoo source black girl magic so wherever you see that at know that asada shakur energy is tied to it yeah and I'm from Jersey, so it's like that's where everything went down with Asada. Like that's where yep. shit got ugly for her. And then uh, Oakland, it was which is where I was living. That's where she did her work. You know, that's where she did her footwork. You feel me? And it's like Afini and all of them was out there too. And it's like this this California, and this Queen Califia energy, is is really is really rising right now. So obviously, you know, the opposition be is trying you know and it's like it's crazy it's crazy that it feels like a million lifetimes or it's it's like the head of a million lifetimes you know like all these different lifetimes that you win and sometimes you get taken out sometimes you got to come back in a different form sometimes you lose the battle and it's like 